I firmly believe that the extensibility model that Microsoft has built for Copilot for Microsoft 365 and its other Copilot technology is one of the biggest difference makers that should have business owners and decision makers clamoring to adopt Copilot. However, the more I engage with users about options for extensibility, the more I see it as a fundamentally misunderstood aspect of what makes Copilot a great product. So in this video, I'm going to dive into extensibility from a different perspective to think about how it should and should not be thought about when exploring how adopting AI tools can help you transform your business. Before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Copilot Seat, a guidebook for small and medium-sized business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. If you're interested in learning more about working with me or getting a copy of my book, there are links below where you can get more information. I've made several videos focusing on Copilot extensibility and the key tool for low-code practitioners such as me to interface with it, Copilot Studio. I'll link those videos below, but let's also take a quick recap. Foundationally, what sets apart a product like Copilot for Microsoft 365 from ChatGPT is that it builds upon the rich knowledge Microsoft has of your business activities through housing all your data. Copilot can reference your emails, your chats, your meeting transcripts, your documents and spreadsheets, etc. in order to not only give you fairly general answers to your queries, like you might get from ChatGPT, but highly focused ones that reason over your unique data. Microsoft has built two technologies to make this happen. First, we have the Copilot Semantic Index, which is a vectorized index of your content, giving Copilot not only a word-for-word -word matching capability to find data you ask for, but also a semantic understanding of your data to link similar terms to one another. This is what powers Copilot's ability to ground or contextualize your requests based on what you mean rather than the specific detail of what you type. In addition to this, the Copilot Orchestrator is a tool that translates your requests to capture necessary contextual data from your files or chats, does security and compliance checks, and interacts with the AI model to ensure you get back what you need. Think about using Copilot in PowerPoint the orchestrator is what ensures the prompt you type ends up generating a response that PowerPoint can interpret into a slide or slide deck rather than just a blob of text. You can think of these two technologies as an index that equips Copilot with knowledge and an orchestrator that gives it skills. By combining these knowledge and skills, Copilot is able to far exceed the capabilities of more text-focused tools like ChatGPT or even do things that new multimodal models like GPT-4.0 lack the capacity for. Bear in mind that all of what I'm referencing here is tied to the capabilities of the $30 a month Copilot for Microsoft 365 add-on, not the free Microsoft Copilot or seeded Copilot capabilities in tools like Power Apps. But there is a problem with this outline. I started off by referencing Microsoft 365 housing all your data. But the reality is that businesses that use Microsoft 365 and absolutely nothing else are few and far between. A far more common scenario is Microsoft 365 plus some QuickBooks and some HubSpot, maybe DocuSign and perhaps Adobe Cloud. The average business has data relevant to their operations scattered across the internet. And despite the amazing power of Copilot for Microsoft 365, once your data is outside of Microsoft 365, or even in certain places inside Microsoft 365, it's completely blind to it. The promise of Copilot extensibility is to allow Copilot to be useful despite this reality. So through extending Copilot's knowledge and skills, we can delve into data and capabilities that exist in systems not serviced by Copilot out of the box and build out a unique set of capabilities that maximize the potential for AI to benefit your business. So if that's the broad overview, what does extensibility look like if we dig into the detail? Before we look at that, if you're finding this video useful, it would be great if you'd give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Copilot extensibility isn't just one tool, it's a whole set of tools built in different ways, split between pro-code techniques and low-code techniques that offer pretty broad capacity to extend Copilot's reach, 
or its knowledge and skills into any third-party service you can imagine. Take Graph Connectors. This is a toolset that allows us to import data such as policy documents from a third-party repository and then expose them to the Copilot semantic index so the data can be used both by Microsoft Search and through Copilot requests. It is literally a tool for expanding Copilot's knowledge beyond your emails and chats into other platforms you might use for knowledge management or similar use cases. Or consider message extensions. These will be familiar to Teams users, allowing you to directly interact with external structured data such as a vacation time tracking system to display relevant records and even interact with that data to make changes. This interaction takes place using an adaptive card, which is a mechanism that allows us to drive a templated view of the data or a simple interactive form into a chat in Teams or with Copilot. By implementing a solution like this, you have expanded Copilot's skills to do something it couldn't do before by interacting with that data source or service right from your chat with Copilot. Depending on what extensibility solution you choose, some have the ability just to pull in data and interact with it inside the Copilot chat, and others have the ability to act on data or to send actions back to whatever system it was pulled from to make changes or updates. And within the context of a single chat, you can create a workflow that strings together multiple extensibility tools to, for example, pull information out of a third-party knowledge base and then add it to a new ticket in a ticketing system. The problem comes in looking at these kinds of use cases and then extrapolating to work out the ideal set of extension options for your business. Too often, this turns into a discussion about what is technically possible from the perspective of the extensibility technology, rather than what actually makes sense in terms of how using Copilot can improve the efficiency of the work people in your business actually do. I might meet with a client who asks me if it's possible to extend Copilot to interact with their accounting data. This makes a lot of sense to think about, but what does that interaction actually look like? Accounting packages generally do a lot of things, from giving you the ability to find simple data points like how many invoices a particular client has open, to more complex tasks like generating those invoices, right the way through to preparing your financial statements. No matter what platform you use, the provider has spent a lot of time and resources on building an interface that allows you to do all those things in a fairly efficient manner, and to simplify what is often a pretty unwieldy and complex data set behind it. Is it conceptually possible to extend Copilot to allow your finance team to prepare new invoices using natural language from the team's base Copilot chat? Yes, it's conceptually possible. But is this likely to be an efficient use case? Probably not. When you want a summary of your emails, you ask Copilot to prepare this for you. But when you want to dig into the detail of a particular message, you click on the link to it and it pops up in Outlook. Microsoft hasn't designed Copilot to supersede its core apps. It's designed it to help you use them better and more efficiently. And this should be the goal of your extensibility journey too. But that leads to the question, what does better and more efficiently actually look like? We'll answer that question in just a minute, but a more fundamental question you might have is how do you even get started with Copilot for Microsoft 365 or other AI tools to open up these types of possibilities? My business, Bright Ideas Agency, has helped smaller businesses across four continents get more from technologies like Copilot. From easy to understand fixed priced offers like my new Copilot for Microsoft 365 adoption package, through to fully customized training and consulting support, we can help you be successful with Microsoft 365, Power Platform, and AI. So if you have questions about how to implement these technologies, how to use them safely, or how to take your business to the next level with them becoming part of your toolkit, reach out for a no obligation initial consultation to find out if my services are a good fit for you. Links for this and everything else we offer are down below. We might get to the point where Copilot or similar generative AI chat-based products are just the interface to everything. This was kind of outlined as an end goal at Build 2023, but we're definitely not there yet and probably won't be for some time. As we walk that journey, the big benefit of a product like Copilot for Microsoft 365 
is not to be an unwieldy answer to everything, but a targeted flow maximizer based specifically on how each employee does their job. The big problem with having data spread across lots of different places isn't necessarily that those platforms are bad. It's that when people are doing jobs that require pulling in data from lots of different places, the juice often isn't worth the squeeze in terms of how much hopping across to that other finance platform benefits the task versus the productivity hit of having to refocus constantly. In the case of generating an invoice, for example, whether you're using QuickBooks or Business Central or something else, there's an existing dedicated interface that is designed specifically to make that process efficient. Having your workers type out the invoice data line by line in a Copilot chat, just because you can build that capability through extensibility, isn't going to make it fun or useful. However, on the flip side, perhaps Copilot's ability to summarise your communications gives you an easy win on collecting together the data you need to start to generate that invoice. Often, the most useful place to start with any integration, whether thinking about Copilot or any digital platform, is to consider what would be useful to plug in to speed up or improve a task. Your goal should be to reduce the friction of common tasks by better integrating your data to the places you want your team to work with it, not reinventing the wheel by trying to build an overly complex set of integrations that bring all your processes into one place, but without the finesse that is important to efficiency. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should, and doesn't mean there isn't someone out there that's willing to sell it to you. As with the adoption of any technology, the core question should be about your processes and business goals, and finding the right solution comes after that. In a world where we more and more have tools that are accessible to any scale of business that allows you to plug in practically any system or service to any other, focusing on the business needs ahead of the technology possibilities is actually more important than ever. Copilot extensibility is a fantastic opportunity to leverage your investment in AI as broadly as possible, but it should also be used judiciously to achieve goals that are truly important to benefiting the work of your teams, rather than just jumping on the hype train that seems right now to be focused on AI-ifying absolutely everything. Instead of trying to turn your invoicing system into some form of Copilot extension, Think about the two or three key account metrics that your sales team might need in the flow of their work and build a tool to give them that. Instead of bringing your entire support ticket management platform into Copilot, consider giving your technicians the ability to quickly summarize their open tickets so they can spend less time writing update emails to their supervisor. Instead of finding a way to expose all your performance dashboard data to Copilot, Consider the four or five key indicators that your leadership team are referencing in their communications and build an extension that allows them to use Copilot to gather this data without leaving their creative flow. By picking simple but high impact places to connect Copilot to other systems, you will improve the flow of work, accelerate Copilot adoption, and also reduce the friction your users experience in gathering data from third-party systems, making that experience better too. Over time, you can learn and expand, but finding that low-hanging fruit is going to serve you far better in the long term than overcomplicating the potential of Copilot extensibility from the outset. Alongside this, those extensibility tools are still evolving too, so over time, what we're gonna be able to do and how we'll do it will improve. What do you think about this and what's your experience of extensibility so far? What are your ambitions for the types of extension you'd like to see for Copilot in the future? Let me know down in the comments. I hope this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.